Hi, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure with another Saturday survival tip. This is a simple one, very useful, especially if you're out with a pot and you want to boil some water or cook some food and you want to keep it suspended above the fire. We're going to be looking at a couple ways to build a pot stand, uh, pot suspenders over the fire. So the first way we're going to look at is the, one of the basic ways and it requires simply a fork stick about 12 inches or so off the ground, depends on uh, what you want. Uh, it's going to rely on levering, so we're going to use here this big uh, stump, uh, this chunk of stump there, and it's going to use a third piece of wood right here. Now the concept is very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to put this under there and we're going to suspend it above the fire. We're going to cut a notch right here, and then we're going to put the pot on it. And that's the first one and the most simple of all the pot stands. Alright, so what we've done is we've taken the stick, which is about three feet long more or less. So what you got, you got two options. You can either cut this to a point and then bury it in the ground and then lever it off the, the ground using your, your Y. Or you can uh, use some rocks or some, a log and just do it that way. But what you want to do first is you want to find out exactly how high you want it off the, the ground and then find the point where you want to uh, mount the pot and you want to cut a notch there. Make it large enough for the bale on your pot. Now when it comes down to the uh, the Y that you've cut Try to use green wood if you can. Uh, it, it just means that it's less likely to burn on you. Um, if you're limited by upper options, you can do it. Just make, be careful with the flames. So we've taken this Y here. We've uh, trimmed it down. Just want to make a bit of a, a better point on it. There we have that. We have our, our Y. And all that's left is let the fire die down a bit and turn into more of a cooking fire. And when that happens, we can set it up. All right, find a good spot for it. Get it in there pretty stably. And there you have a simple stand for your pot. Keep it up high with the fire. You can, of course, lower it down if you need to. Um, but there's your basic principle of how to make a, a pot stand. All right, so the next pot stand is, is gonna be more adjustable. And what you're going to use is you're gonna take that same concept of your, the pot stand that we, we did previously, but you're gonna take a stick about 12 inches long, you're gonna cut a notch in it, and you're going to put that in there. Now, it may seem unstable, but once you have your pot on there, it'll work really well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a couple notches at different heights so that we can put the pot in there at different heights as we want to and get a better uh, get better uh, heat control over the fire when you're cooking something. All right, so we have three different points. You can add more if you want. And then on the other side, we have this right here to hook it onto the, pot, the uh, stick. And there you have an adjustable stand. Let's try it out. All right, so there we have it. Kids, kids, what are we making? Huckleberry tea! Yeah, it looks yummy, doesn't it? Yes! All right then, thanks for watching, thanks for uh, participating. If you have any other suggestions, any other examples that you prefer or that you like to use, or if you just want to try this out, we'd love to see a video response with any of those ideas of yours. Remember, be safe, have a great time, and get outside this summer, enjoy yourself, and spend some time with your family.